Let's explain declination to some degree for you. So declination is the difference in angle between magnetic north and grid north. So how does this work? Well, there's three norths. There is true north. So let's just imagine up here, right up at the very top, there's true north. It's the top of the globe, and that's true north. There's also magnetic north, which is the north that compasses point towards. It is somewhere up in this area. So we'll call this magnetic north. We'll call this true north up here. Magnetic north is essentially a moving target. It moves over time because it's something to do with the molten uh, material beneath the, uh, the crust of the Earth, so it moves and, uh, and creates this, uh, this over time moving target. Um, and then there's finally another type of north, which is known as grid north. So grid north is right up here, very close to true north. So we got grid north, we got true north, and we got magnetic north. So let's look at angles. If we are down here and we wanted to figure out what our declination was for that area, we're going to look at the direction to true north, and then the direction up to magnetic north, and then look at the angle difference here. So the angle difference is from this one, which is actually grid north, and this one is magnetic north, and it's going towards the east. Okay, so grid north towards the east, and right now it's around 14 degrees east. Okay, so that's the declination of the difference between where a, mag where a magnetic compass points and where a, uh, a map will actually be oriented to. Now, let's just look at another scenario. Let's say we are out here in uh, Nova Scotia. So we're enjoying some lobster over there on, uh, you know, pub in, in Halifax, and we want to know what our declination is. We're going to look at the angle to grid north, the angle to magnetic north, and the difference between the two. And this time, we're going to have the opposite. So we're actually going to have a westerly declination, and let's say it's 15 degrees west. So it's the opposite. There is a spot down the middle here, if you were to imagine a line running all the way through here, so a line from true north through magnetic north and all the way down like this. On this line, it is zero degrees declination. And this is known as the agonic line. So if you happen to be lucky enough to be on that line, you actually don't need to think about declination. Essentially, declination allows your compass and your map to, to speak together. Um, otherwise, they're speaking different languages. One speaks magnetic language, and the other speaks grid or map language. Understanding the declination and knowing what it is in your area will allow your map and compass to, to actually communicate. To figure out what your declination is, in your area, the best thing to do is to go online and Google, yes, Mr. Google, Google your magnetic declination for your area that you're going to. So let's say you're going to Canmore. Just say magnetic declination, Canmore, and it'll give you the declination up to date. So we have three norths. Again, we have magnetic north. We have true north and we have grid north. True north is pointing directly to the polar, um, the 
poles of the Earth, so up at the North Pole. Grid North is a slight offset because you're putting a um, flat map onto a round globe, and to get parallel lines, that's how they achieve that. And then Magnetic North is where your magnetic needle on your compass points towards.